Hi guys, so it is time for February favorites and I feel like this month went by really really fast. It feels like I just did my January favorites, but I have a few products, not many. Um, some are makeup related, some aren't, so I'll start with the makeup ones. The blush that I've been wearing is Azalea Blossom and it's really really big. It's the size of an MSF um, and it starts at light pink and it fades to purple. And this is one of the products that I forgot to feature in my latest MAC haul. Um, along with the nail polish I also have here to show you guys. But it has a slight shimmer to it. And I just kind of like mix it all together like this. And it looks like that if you can even see anything. I have it on now. But it's really pretty so I've been using that. And then my other... My probably my most favorite product for last month has to be the, the Lady Gaga lipstick and it's very very pretty and I already swatched this a few times so I'm not going to swatch it again but it came out with the Viva Glam collection and it's a luster so I really like that and I mentioned in that same haul video that I was using what is it Culture Clash lip, lip glass on top of it and I've been using it so much you can see the MAC thing is like all faded. But it's just a really, really light pink with some silver shimmer in it. And then I mentioned a few times that my go-to look for eyeshadow last month was um, just simple brown eyes. It's easy and it's fast. And I've been using Satin too, which is probably one of my all-time favorite MAC shadows. So I feel like it's kind of cheating to feature this in my February favorites. And it's gorgeous. And it says it's a frost. And I think I featured this in one of my other um, monthly favorites videos. I'm not sure. I've been, I was using that on the lid. And then in my crease, I've been using Guilt by Association, which is a mineral. Is it a mineral? It's like a baked. Yeah, it's a mineralized eyeshadow. And it looks really, really golden, but it's actually um, a little bit more dark. It doesn't show up as golden, um, but it looks like this. So pretty. And I forgot to swatch Satin Tube. This is Satin Tube. I don't know why I've been putting this in right in front of my face so you can't see me, but what fingers is it? It's these two together. Gorgeous. So try that out if you have them. And now on to the products that aren't makeup. Well, they sort of are. Um, the nail polish I've been using almost every single time I do my nails is the MAC Nail Polish in um, Galore Pink. And this is the nail polish that I forgot to include in um, that haul video from their Spring Color Forecast. And I have it on now and I change my nail polish as soon as my nails chip. It just irritates me when my nails are chipped. It gives me that like nails on a chalkboard feeling. So I've been using this a lot. And I found the best top coat ever. And it is such a V top coat. And it smells really, really bad. It kind of smells like, I don't, I don't know. It smells like really chemically. But it makes your nail polish dry super, super fast. Um, and it makes it really, really glossy, and I recommend this to everybody. I got it at Sally's for $7.99, but they also have this at CVS next to, um, I believe it's next to, I don't know if they have OPI at CVS. It's by, like, the nail polishes. It's in the false eyelash aisle. They also would have it. And then the, my last product is the FX Silk Drops, and I really wanted to get, um, What's the name? The Bio Silk Silk Drops. I used them before. They're really, really nice. Um, it's basically the same format as this. It's like liquid. Um, but it's really, really expensive. It's probably $25 for a bottle smaller than the size of that one. So I was looking for a great alternative. And I used the FX Heat Protectant Spray. So I figured I would just get this one. And it says sheer liquid silk smoothing and polishing hair serum smooths frizziness and split ends and glosses hair and I use this when I first get out of the shower when I wash my hair I use this in damp hair and then I'll blow dry and straighten it and use it again because I have really really thick hair 
that can be really, really frizzy and hard to tame. Um, so I'll use this again when it's all dry, but if you have normal hair or thinner hair, I would only recommend using this once when it's wet. That's really But that is it for my monthly favorites. Thanks for watching.